Five months ago, I started as a level one on a new account in GTA Online. And the only way I've made money on this account is by spinning a wheel determining what I should do to make money. So today in this video, I will spin that wheel again to see what I will do in this video. So welcome to the 73rd episode of season number two of Loser to Luxury. And without further ado, let's jump into it. All right, so currently right now, I am on the wheel of quick cash. And before we spin the wheel of quick cash, I just want to remind you that we are trying to buy the latest DLC vehicle, which is currently right now the Cavalcade XL, coming in at $1,665,000. But to customize this fully, it's going to roughly take $2 million. So we're trying to shoot for $2 million. And currently right now, I'm sitting on $1,409,000. So hopefully we can get right around $600,000 today in this video so we can hopefully purchase that Cavalcade XL. But how are we going to start out this episode? in order to make money and it looks like we are going to have to go to our auto shop and sell off the auto shop car that we can take to a customer all right so right now i am on the wheel of making money so what are we gonna have to do in this episode in order to make money and it looks like we are going to have to do what is going to be okay we are going to have to sell off our maxed out counterfeit cash factory all right so we got to sell off our counterfeit cash today but what else in this episode am i gonna have to do in order to make money and it looks like we are free to do whatever we want but it is going to be determined by something and in order to determine that something, we got to spin a wheel. All right, so this is the free to do whatever wheel. And if you don't know how this wheel works, there's a bunch of different options on here of a bunch of vehicles that we've bought during this season of Loser to Luxury. And we're going to try to get as many kills as possible with this vehicle. So like this one right here is the Kanjali. We'll have five minutes to get as many kills with the Kanjali. We get the Buzzard, we'll have three minutes. Armor Karuma, we'll have seven minutes and so forth. But let's spin the wheel and let's see what vehicle we're going to have to use to try to get as many kills in a certain amount of time and all right we're going back to the original thing that we used to do all the time which was melee kills so we have to get as many melee kills as possible in a span of 10 minutes and how many kills we get is going to determine how long we have to do whatever we want in gta online all right so we're free to do whatever we want but it's going to be determined by melee kills and then we have to go and sell off our counterfeit cash factory but first i have to head over to my auto shop and sell off a vehicle inside of my auto Auto shop. All right, all right, all right. I'm already pissed. We've already run into this freaking problem again. So Santa can't get a car in here for me to customize and sell off. I need a written apology from you. I don't know what is your problem. Like, where are you, Santa? You're in here. What is wrong with you? No, I'm dead serious. What is wrong with you? Oh my God, she's on a call with Katie Jade. No, I don't want to hear him talk. No, get me out of there. Yeah, there's a car lift right behind me right here. There's supposed to be a car on that car lift that we can sell off. But for some reason, there is no car in here. And it's not like I just joined this session i've been sitting in this session for close to an hour and there's no vehicle on the car lift like i don't get that this is not gonna be a wheel of quick cash wheel spin i don't know what i'm gonna do now though oh look at that it says new contracts are now available from your auto shop job board that's fantastic i need a car to sell off idiots all right so instead of doing that um hmm you know what we'll do a full against job how about that we'll do one full against job and we're not gonna try to cheese and get like a good full against job we're gonna get whatever full against job that just appears good or bad what are we getting liquid assets okay this is a good one but the problem is we have to go all the way to Polito bay which kind of sucks but whatever all right so we've made it over to this grass farm yeah we have to take out a bunch of dealers like so so much nice to do this when you actually have like good weapons and everything i remember when i used to have to do this with like terrible weapons all right so we have to contaminate the water supply before we actually got here i got some hazardous chemicals there we go water supply is contaminated now let's turn on the irrigation system and i mean there's a door right there uh you know you think you can just walk out this door right ah it's a door you can't can't go out so you have to go right through the chemicals that you just you know put in and yep here we go we're seeing a bunch of pretty colors now we have to exit the grass farm and now we are hallucinating oh what a wonderful time and there's a way to cheese this which i'm going to do essentially what we have to do is just go up high so like i'm on top of a building we'll go up here and then there you go there's not gonna be any clowns or whatever the heck running after you because now i am just chilling out on top of the building and you can just chill out up here and you can eat a bunch of 
snacks while you're hallucinating so you don't die. And yeah, this makes this a lot easier. All right, and there we go. We have ended our hallucination and we are spawning in. And this is the first time we've spawned up here, but there we go, mission passed. We usually spawn in, you know, at this location, but we spawn in like inside of this hut thing. We're on top of Mount Chiliad and like we're on this hut where the gondola is supposed to go. We usually spawn in here, but instead we spawn on top of here. Okay. We got $50,000 for that, which is nice. We wouldn't have gotten $50,000 for selling off that vehicle for Santa. So thank you, Dax. Never thought I would say that. But now it's time for us to try to get as many melee kills as possible in a span of 10 minutes. So let's head over into a public session. And let's go see what I can do. All right. So I'm now in a public session. So now our goal is to try to get as many melee kills as possible in a span of 10 minutes. So first of all, how this is going to work is we're essentially starting out with 20 minutes and every single melee kill that I get is going to be an additional 10 minutes. So let's just say I only get one melee kill in the span of 10 minutes. Then that's an additional 10 minutes added on top of the 20 minutes we started out with. So in total, that would be 30 minutes for me to do whatever I want in GTA Online. So hopefully that made sense. But how I'm going to get melee kills is we're going to pull out a melee weapon, obviously, but we're going to pull out our stone hatchet in particular because it's a lot easier to get killed with a stone hatchet than any other melee weapon. So like we can take this lady and well, bam, that's a melee kill. And then we get this ability too that prevents us from taking damage. I don't think that's going to be really relevant for what we're doing. Oh yeah, one more rule before I start. I'm not allowed to get any kills on anyone that's AFK. I need to at least have some sort of evidence that they are currently playing by like moving or whatever. But anyways, let's start the timer for 10 minutes right now. All right, clock is running. We need to try to get as many melee kills as possible in 10 minutes. I don't know, right now I'm flying around in my oppressor, which could be a little bit intimidating. Their guard might be incredibly high. Uh, I don't know. Here's a guy right here. Hey, excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me, sir. Sir, 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 sir. Can't believe you actually let me do that. All right, here we go. This guy is here. I know that. Well, there we go. That's one kill. <laughs> that was so quick. Nice. All right, we're on the board. Dude, this guy's running away from me. He's going to get back in that car. That sucks. Dude, I can easily get a kill on that guy if it wasn't for a melee weapon. Okay, there's a guy right here. I saw this guy moving. No, he's moving again. Dang it, dude. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, okay, the cops are on him. Uh, excuse me, sir. Sir, 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 sir. No, dude. Dude, I'm friendly. I'm friendly. I'm friendly. What part about friendly do you not understand, you dork? God. Okay, there's apparently a guy over here. His name is Big Bully. I don't know if he's moving or not, though. That's a problem. Mr. Bully, sir, can I... Oh, he's moving. Oh, I think I might have accidentally just pushed him right into his garage. Wait, he's coming out. He's coming out. Wait, 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 wait. Mr. Bully, sir. Uh, that's what you gotta do in life. You gotta bully the bully. That's what I just did. All right, the bully guy is over here. Excuse me? Okay, you just look freaking... Uh-uh, uh-uh. No, 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 I saw that. I saw that. You pulled out a sticky bomb. I saw that. Uh-uh. No, that's our third kill. Nope, nope. He's gonna try to blow us up and be kind of like, ha-ha funny about it. No, uh-uh. No, I get to do the ha-ha funny. You get to be the victim. Plus, you dropped a sticky bomb, so that's nice. So I got an extra sticky bomb out of that. All right, so we're doing good right now. We have three kills with like just under five minutes to go. Yeah, he's pulling out a sticky bomb he's gonna try yeah wow you are so funny ha 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 i just blew up my freaking oppressor i wasn't even using my oppressor i was just meleeing you you freaking dork he's probably sitting there right now he's like oh i got him good <laughs> no you didn't i am under strict limitations right now you're not all right mr dork Oh, yeah, I got him good. <laughs> Loser, I swear, man. No, I can get him. I can get him. He's literally just waiting. Can you rush me? Okay, he's not shooting. Oh, wow, you really suck. My goodness. Okay, no, no. Yeah! Bully the bully. That is number four. Kill number four. Oh, 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 oh. He's kind of joining in the fun. Okay, that was just bad on him. Wow, that's number five. That was embarrassing. You should be bright red embarrassed at yourself. You might need to join another session because that was so embarrassing. Jeez. Bro, bro. Whoa, 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 whoa. I thought that would have been automatic. All right, fine. I kind of like set up like the glitch punch thing, you know, just hold down A and right trigger. Run at him. Yeah, that was easy. Okay, that's number six. Jeez. All right, I have the glitch punch ready to go. I'm holding down A and right trigger. I'm just going to run right at him and then... Jeez, I don't know. I, okay, I'm kind of embarrassed that I died from you off of a melee kill. Dude, you need to get better at your meleeing. Okay, there's like 10 seconds left. I think he's a little too far away for me to get another kill. Oh, I see a scramjet in the air, Um, but the clock is expiring now. Well, that was something. Dude, okay, the clock is expired, but my gosh. 
that doesn't count as another kill, but just stop. Just stop. Like, oh, wow. We're gonna go back to an invite-only session. We're gonna regroup. All right, so I quite literally think that this is a new record for me for doing one of these challenges, but I was able to get seven kills in the span of 10 minutes, only using a melee weapon. Now, we'll have to say that guy was, I mean, not the best, but that being said, I took advantage of him not being the best, so got six of our seven kills on that guy. But we started out with 20 minutes, and then we get an additional 10 minutes for every single kill. So that's an additional 70 minutes added on top of that 20 minutes we started out with. So in total, we have nine. 90 minutes or an hour and 30 minutes to do whatever I want in GTA Online with the exception of a Kyle Perico Iced. That's incredibly cheesy just to do a Kyle Perico Iced. When you get a challenge like this, we're not going to collect any wall safes because all the value in wall safes are going to be outside of this 90 minutes. And then selling off any businesses, that's not going to count either because the value inside of the businesses was gathered before this 90 minutes. But everything else is in play. So yeah, Let's see how much money we can make in the span of 90 minutes. All right, so we've made it over to our first way that we're actually gonna get money, and it's going to be through payphone hits. And as soon as I pick up this payphone, the clock is going to start. So here we go. All right, clock is running. Pick up the payphone. Can we hang up quick? Yes, we can. We have to kill multiple targets. Frankie, oh, Franklin, you gotta tell me how to do it. Take out all the targets within seven minutes. Good, good. This is a good one. This is a good one. It's what I like to see. Thank you, Franklin. See, so Santa should take some notes from me, Franklin. Like, my goodness. Franklin actually like caters to my needs for the most part. See, so Santa just absolutely does not do that. Santa just does everything in her power just to piss me off. She does a great job at it too. Anyways, there's a target right here. So how are we going to kill this target? It's like that, which didn't work that time. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Well, bam. There we go. One target down, three more to go. Oh yeah, the reason we're starting out with doing a payphone hit is because now payphone hits, the cooldown instead of being like a GTA online day with it being 48 minutes, it's now reduced to 10 minutes, but the pay is gonna be a little less. Uh, the point is I wanna do as many payphone hits as possible. You know, it's actually like a good way to make money, but you just gotta keep doing it. Dude, this guy won't die. Dude, you are being a little obnoxious. Fine, you know what, you know what, eat this. There you go. I didn't want to have to do that, but you kind of forced me to do that guy. So yeah, hopefully in this time frame we can do at least seven payphone hits. <laughs> I think that's reasonable. Seven payphone hits, because they roughly take like three minutes to do, even though this one's taking a little longer. Hello, guy. Okay, I can't hit these guys dead on. Usually I run them over with the oppressor. They'll die like in a first attempt. All right, there you go. One more guy we have to take out. All right, we're just gonna get this guy quickly by giving him that. Assassination bonus complete. Now we're gonna head this way. And there we go, payphone hit complete. Got $45,000, good start. But what we're gonna do now is we're gonna head over to the board, the animal board. I forgot the name of this board, but I wanna go to the animal board. All right, so while we wait 10 minutes for the cooldown of our payphone hits to expire, I want to at least get this started. So this is the wildlife. We have to get a photo of a coyote, a rat, rabbit and a hen. Uh, I see a lot of rabbits. I don't think the rabbits will be too hard, but the coyote? Oh, I know. I feel like I see a decent amount of coyotes, but hen. I have no idea where a hen is going to spawn in. I mean, definitely like a farm. I think I've just seen coyotes just strolling around in sandy shores. I think I'm just going to look there first. At least I didn't get a great cormorant. I don't have to look up what a coyote is. I understand what a coyote is. got to find one. Oh, coyote. All right, I'm already getting pissed off at this. All right, I'm looking it up. Okay, I think I found a location. Apparently on the other side of the Alamo Sea. I don't know. I looked up a YouTuber. I'll shout out this YouTuber if he's correct. Okay. It was apparently by this bunker. Oh, you are so right. Okay. Shout out to this guy. Hold on. There's a coyote right there. Nice. Nice. What? What do you want from me? That's a perfect. That's a coyote, you morons. Come on, game. No. Don't run. No. No. Don't run. I didn't do anything. Well, that one's running away, but this one's walking close here. Just thank you, game. Don't piss me off like that. It's one. I got a coyote and I need to find a rabbit. Uh, hold on. Let me shout out this guy. Shout out to Hellboy200120. Good video. Good video of where to find a coyote. Shoot. I feel like I always see rabbits, though. I feel like rabbits are just everywhere, but I just need to see one now. Wait, I see one! Let's go! Dude, I see you! It's kind of hard to see, but I see- Look! Look! 
Yes! Let's go! God, I'm so hyped finding animals. I gotta find a hen. I have no idea where a hen is. They're commonly seen around the countryside of Blaine County. Uh, I would like a little bit more specific, please. But they can also be found in Alleyway in Rancho Los Santos. Uh, there are several chickens present in the Cluck and Bell factory. Uh, I mean, I know I'm already at the Blaine County area, but uh, that's just way too broad of an answer. So I'm gonna go to the Cluck and Bell factory. Oh yeah, I don't know if I explained this like too well, but essentially if we photograph three different animals that were on that list, which we've already got two of them, once we get the third one in total, we'll make a hundred thousand dollars. We get twenty thousand dollars per animal that we get, and then a forty thousand dollar completion bonus. So yeah, we just gotta find a hen. So we have to go to Cluck and Bell factory and see if we can find a hen that's getting ready to be turned into fried chicken. All right, we've made it here. Um, can I take a photo of this and this will count? That was a joke. That was a joke. That was a joke. Don't roast me. I knew that. I knew that wasn't gonna work. Okay. Where? Oh, where would a chicken be? Chickens? No, they're not on their chicken slide thing. I was promised they're at the Cluck and Bell factory. There is no chickens at the Cluck and Bell factory yet. All right, yeah, this is getting ridiculous. I have found no hens. This is stupid. Yeah, I made a complete lap. There's no chickens here. That's so stupid. All right, so what we're gonna do now, uh, we can actually start up another payphone it. So we're gonna take a little break from trying to find a hen. We're gonna do another payphone it right now. And then once we complete this payphone it, we'll go back to hen hunting. All right, this payphone is right here. Let's pick it up, hang it up. We have to assassinate a single target. Franklin, you know the drill. Use a scoped rifle to take out the target with a gas tank explosion. Okay, this is one of the construction site ones. All right, anyways, we've made it over here. Um, it's usually a bad idea to park your oppressor right here. Well, okay, that might be the spot. Okay, usually I just fall off and embarrass myself. Then I, like, cry myself to sleep, but uh, not today. Not today. Um, okay, so we picked up a sniper rifle. I need to pick this one up because this one has a suppressor, unlike my other snipers I have. All right, the gas tank is right here, so he needs to get close to that. Oh, I think I forgot to mention with these payphone hits is the fact that we're trying to get the assassination bonus, and we're trying to get the assassination bonus because that's where we're going to get majority of our money. Money. This pays out $45,000, but 30000 of it. Is that close enough? Okay, cool. Um, As I was saying, 30000 of it is with the assassination bonus. So that's two thirds of our money. But anyways, we got the assassination bonus right there. And I'll show you what I'm talking about here once it shows out the payout. All right, there we go. Hit complete. It says payment. It's just a payment of $15,000, but we get $30,000 for the bonus payment. So yeah, two thirds of our money is coming straight from the assassination bonus. All right, anyways, there's supposedly a bunch of hens here. There's apparently supposed to be hens just chilling out in here. At least they're supposed to be. Uh, I might have to come back and see if they'll spawn in. Let's take a quick lap, make sure, you know, there's none around the back. All right, chickens, where are you? I know you're here. Do I have a flashlight or anything? No, I don't have a flash. Dude, there's supposed to be a chicken in here. I'm gonna come back one more time and see if they'll spawn in, but my goodness. All right, no more Mr. Nice Guy. You're here. I know you're here. Well, how stupid is that? No chickens want to spawn in for me. All right, well, I'll go to another location. That All right, this is apparently another location. All right, chickens. All right, you're pissing me off, chickens. They're supposed to spawn in here. They're literally supposed to spawn in there. Is it only like a daytime animal or something like that? Which is so stupid to even say out loud. We'll wait a little longer before we try that again. But I guess while we wait, we'll go over to our bunker. We'll sell off excess weapon parts. And then we'll do another payphone. And then we'll come back and see if a hen wants to spawn in. All right, here we go. Here is our dune loader full of excess weapon parts. Hopefully, I can do this twice, I think. We should be able to do this twice, which is huge. All right, all right. Did they fix something with selling off excess weapon parts? This is kind of pissing me off. I have the same location of a bunker on another account. And when I've done this, I've gotten this same freaking location like the past three times. This is getting ridiculous. And this is a problem with this one because this is six miles. Like we're driving all the way back into Los Santos, even though there's so many like ammunitions that are pretty decently close by. The game just wants to screw me. Nah, that's definitely not the case. They probably just made like an adjustment. They just didn't tell anyone about it. Don't worry, Dr. Crush is here to explain everything to everyone and wreck because of stupid NPCs and I have to deal with this for freaking six miles. No, 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 no. What are you, a cop? It's like the most perfect fishtail I've ever seen. I legitimately don't think I've seen a more perfect fishtail. Stop! 
Dude, what is your problem? You didn't manufacture these weapons. I did, apparently. I know probably some of y'all are like, oh, just shoot out their tires. Problem is, I can't aim back here. I can't shoot. Like, I'm trying to shoot right now. I can't. Like, I can't shoot out the back window because, well, it's impossible. Oh, I probably had an opportunity there to shoot out their tires. God dang it, dude. They're just being annoying today. Just stop. Y'all are being a pain. But that's what we were programmed to do. Dude, it's somewhere else. Here, fine. They're not in their vehicles yet. There you go. I don't want to kill them. I don't want to kill them. No, no, you're not getting... Oh, of course, I have to reload. All your tires are going to be screwed. I don't want to kill them because then more will spawn in. I want those specific guys to come after me now because they have no tires. They're just going to be slipping all over the place. But then again, they're not even following me anymore. So then they're going to despawn and then there's going to be some fresh ones coming after me and then they're going to ruin my day. Yeah, I think I did too good of a job. I think I'm way ahead of them now. I assume some more new ones will spawn in. Yep, two more new ones just spawned in. That is fantastic. Hopefully I can outrun them though. Okay. Oh my god, this is already taking me just over six minutes and we still have a mile and a half to go. Yeah, this little silent update that GTA has freaking put down on this, it sucks. Oh, but anyways, here we go. Yep, I'm getting too familiar with this specific ammunition. All right, there we go. That's $50,000 though. It's still a great way to make money. It's just taking a little longer than it originally used to take. But I think we should be able to do another payphone it though. All right, here's another payphone. Let's pick it up, hang it up. Oh, okay, I can't skip this one. All right, we haven't done this one before on this account. Yeah, essentially right now what Franklin's telling me, he's telling me to tell you to subscribe to Dr. Crutch because we are less than 10,000 subscribers away from reaching 100,000 subscribers. So if you're not already subscribed and you're enjoying the content, then you might as well just hit the subscribe button. And then he also said, if you're enjoying the content, you should leave a like down below while you're subscribing. You know, that's his words, not mine. I really appreciate it, Franklin. It, Franklin's my boy. You know, Franklin didn't have to say that. He's just too nice. Then he slipped in. We have to go assassinate a single target. Uh, we have to pursue the target in a police car until they crash. Are we close to it? Hold on. We might be close to a spot where a police car can spawn in. If not, I can just call 911 and then a police car will just come on by. I think the impound lot has some. I mean, there's a riot van. Does that count? I don't think it does. Uh, okay, that's great. I'm just going to call 911 and we'll steal a cop car. We're going to call emergency services, which is 911. And then we'll call for the police. Yeah, Franklin just told me a location of where police cars will spawn it. Oh, come on. Really? I'm right here and it's right there. Oh, Frank. Oh, Franklin. I feel committed doing it this way now. I just got to get that cop car to spawn in. What? Are you kidding? It was literally just guys walking here? Oh, come on. Y'all are the lousiest policemen ever. Get a car. Oh, right, here's the car. I think those guys literally just ran from all the way down there. Morons. Anyways, I got a police car now. I wonder if we bought like a police car with this latest update, if you could use that during this mission. All right. So anyways, we have to pursue the target in a police car until they crash their vehicle. No, wrong vehicle to crash. No, 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 no. <laughs> it can't be me. It has to be them crashing. All right. So we see the car just up ahead. On the minimap, there's a little red circle. So we have to stay within this red circle. We have to turn on our lights though. All right, here we go. Yeah, they're intimidated. Um, What does a cop usually say at GTA? All right. <clears throat> Show's over, clown. Oh, that was a good one. That was a good one. That's actually what they say. All right, crash. Awesome, thank you. Let me get out of here. All right, there you go, payphone hit complete. All right, so we're gonna try to find a hen now. All we have to find is a single hen. It's now the daytime, so hopefully a hen will spawn in. Because the only thing I thought that could have maybe been a factor was nighttime, which makes no sense to me. All right, so we've made it over here once again. Oh, hen, oh, hen. All right, hens, where are you? It's okay, don't be shy. Don't be shy. Will you spawn in? I just need you to spawn in, hens. Gosh. After I photograph these hands, I am blowing them up. This is getting ridiculous. They will not spawn in. And I have seen proof that they spawn in right there in those little hut things. All right, hens, don't be shy. You're the most annoying animal in the game. My goodness. Hey, sir, where are your hens? Where are your hens? Okay, I think he's a little shy. Oh boy, oh boy, okay, okay. I looked up another YouTube video. Like, to be honest, I don't think that was Hellboy's fault, but it's not spawning in at his locations. I think this Polito Bay location, uh, he also said. I clicked on another video, and this guy said 99% guarantee that it'll be at this location. 99, all right, 99. My odds are very, very good. I mean, he did kind of cover himself a little bit by giving that 1% possibility of it not being at this specific location. All right, 99. Where exactly was the location though? Oh my God, he was right. All right, all right, okay, okay, 99, 99. He was right, he was right, here you go. There we go, that's it. You know, all animals have been photographed, but not all animals have been cooked. 
All right, there we go. All animals have been cooked. Oh, what are you, what are you doing? What are you doing, you little dork? You running away? <laughs> you ain't running from anywhere. I got you now, stupid hen. All right, I feel much better. I'm going to try to do a full inch job right here, see if I have enough time to do that. All right, but anyways, we got $20,000 for photographing that hen along with another 40 for photographing every single animal, which is nice. What are we doing? Right off? Ugh, I don't want to do this one. Yeah, screw it. I'll do it. I haven't done this one in so long because this one's an annoying one to do. But I have a Kanjali, which is supposedly supposed to make it a little bit easier or just any sort of tank. All right, so what we have to do for this full against job is we have to destroy Mary with a transport. And there's one thing right here. And there we go. So, yeah, we don't have to destroy all of them, but we have to destroy a decent amount of them. So, let's just take some of these things out. There we go. Another Meriwether transport has been destroyed. I think that's all I technically have to take out, right? All right, yeah, there we go. So, all we have to do now is go to the Meriwether Depot. Right before we get there, we're going to call in our tank. Oh, okay, yeah, here is my Kanjali. Hey, look, I can just walk in and then, well, bam. Oh, jeez, I missed that, but, ah. Uh. So, yeah, reinforcements are supposed to come in 30 seconds. I don't really care, to be honest. I don't even think it should be a factor. Okay, okay, we're doing a good job of taking out most everything. We have four more things we have to take out i mean yeah this is definitely the way to go if you get this one okay don't be stupid like that though shoot the thing right in front of you all right there we go everything's been taken out so now we just need to get out of here problem is we have to escape the reinforcements but the kanjali is very not fast so first things first what i'm going to do i want to take out this helicopter like that there we go nice Take that out. Okay. Okay, what am I doing? Sorry, I was being a little silly there. All right, cool. Uh, now what I want to do is I want to call in my buzzard. We'll get out of here with the buzzard. Oh, okay, there we go. I didn't even have to get out of Los Santos. There's $50,000 right there. So let's call up Franklin and let's do another payphone hit. All right, here we go. Here's the payphone. Let's pick it up, hang it up. We have to assassinate a single target. Uh, it kind of looks like the construction site one, which not my favorite. Yep, use a scoped rifle to take out the target with a cargo container, which this is another construction site one. The one we got last time was a little bit easier with taking them out with an explosion. This one I have to get a little better angle. Okay, so once again, I've made it over to the crane. Now we learned last time we can just park our oppressor right here if it wants to work. Work! Okay, cool. Nice. All right, we're gonna go up here. Yeah, take the sniper rifle, head back down. All right, let's get back on our oppressor. We gotta get a better angle because the angle that we have right now is not great. The cargo container is like sitting over here here yeah this is probably gonna be the best angle maybe sitting on this pipe right here there's a target right there he needs to walk underneath here so if he can do that that'd be great okay he listened okay he's underneath shoot boom okay not bad assassination bonus complete let's leave the area and we should be good to go there we go another forty five thousand dollars all right i want to do the time trials now we're not doing the hsw time trial or the normal time trial just because it's early in the event week when i'm recording this and if i were to do it now that would take away the ability for us to do that wheel spin if we do land on it like later on in this event week so we're gonna do the ones that reset daily and i'm gonna start out with doing the junk energy time trial i should be able to complete this first attempt but the key word is should then after this i'll try to do the rc bandito time trial but that could be a little bit tricky oh i think i'm remembering this junk energy time trial i don't think this one's one of my favorites i think it gets a little bit annoying towards the end okay i've kind of flown through this like pretty good but this is where it gets a little tricky because you can't have too much speed oh uh, but you gotta have enough speed if that makes any sense but i've kind of done this very nicely i just have to climb up here and all right nice first attempt it's an easy fifty one thursand dollars. all right so i'm gonna try to get the rc bandito time trial done all right so the rc bandito time trial is going to be over here i don't think i've done this specific rc bandito time trial the vinewood bowl okay all right but here we go can i do this time trial first attempt uh i think the betting favorite is going to be no i mean so far this seems pretty simple as i run into a bollard thank you that's just me being stupid can't blame that on the rc bandito ah 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 we don't run into a wall let's keep going no ran into another bollard okay yeah bollards are gonna absolutely just ruin this run for me i guarantee it kind of already has ah car where are you coming from okay less than 10 seconds to go i don't think it's been that bad to be honest okay 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 that didn't have to happen where's the finish i just want to see where the finish is get my eyes on it okay okay i don't think that's horrible i really don't think that's horrible we just had a few minor screw-ups i think i'm gonna give myself three more attempts if i can't complete it in three more attempts we'll do another payphone it and then come back to it yeah this really doesn't seem that bad of an rc bandito time trial 
No, no, we don't run into bollards. That's not how we complete time trial. We complete time trials by not hitting anything. All right, yeah, this feels very fast. I think I had like one screw up. I think we should be able to complete this. 15, 16, yep, got it. Wow, I had a feeling that wasn't gonna be too awful. I screwed up too much that first attempt, but there we go. That might be the easiest one ever. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna call the wrong guy to call. I need to call Franklin, my boy Franklin, and see how much time we have left before we can start up another payphone hit. Oh, uh, we have two minutes. Uh, we're gonna go to the Diamond Casino. How about that? We'll go to the Diamond Casino. We'll spin the lucky wheel. Then after that, I don't know what I'm gonna do. All right, so we made it over to the Diamond Casino. So we're gonna spin the lucky wheel. This is what we're gonna do. All right, here we go. Uh, I don't even know what the podium vehicle is for this week. Um, I would like to find out by landing on vehicle. Okay, no, we're not landing on vehicle. Oh, good, a discount. Oh, wait, is it gonna be Southern San Andreas? That might help me out. <laughs> okay, we're gonna get our Cavalcade XL discounted. Okay, that is like the one time I am okay in this series with getting a discount. Okay. All right, cool. I mean, we're saving money instead of making money, which is cool, I guess. All right, here we go. I was camping right next to a payphone. Pick it up. Hang it up. Cool. Assassinate a single... T Dang it. No, it's the motel one. Ah, oh, shoot. We're gonna not do that one. That takes up too much time. That takes like at least five minutes to do. No, we're gonna get another one. All right, let's try this again. Franklin, give me a better one, please. And thank you. Uh, what do we got? All right. Not one with a question mark. It's the one with the target. If you see one with a question mark, you're gonna get that one with like the motel. Uh, this one's not that though. Uh, let me guess. Construction site one? Yeah, no, it is. It literally is. I can tell on the map. First time we're getting this one. I used a skipped rifle to take out the target with a bulldozer. We've literally gotten all three of the ways to take out the guy at the construction site. The gas tank explosion, the cargo container landing on his face, and now the bulldozer. The game really wants me to show this today. Oh, wait, no, he's literally at the perfect spot to get run over by a bulldozer. I'm gonna go for it now. Oh, shoot. Go, just go, 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 go. Okay, I missed the first shot. That was almost embarrassing, but okay, cool. Okay, wow, that took me a minute and 31 seconds. Cool. I almost forgot I can do one thing, but I'm gonna go over to my office and we're gonna export mixed goods. All right, hello. Uh, I would like to export mixed. Oh, wait, I need to get some snacks. Let me get some snacks. Uh, yeah, I would like to export mixed goods, please, and thank you. All right, cool. We have to exit the office right now. All right, so all we have to do for this is we just have to collect the mixed goods, which is usually gonna be in the city, and then all we have to do is just deliver these mixed goods to the terminal. That is pretty much it. We only recently unlocked the ability to collect mixed goods because we were able to buy a special cargo warehouse. A lot of people make the mistake of thinking all you need is an office building to do this. No, you need an office building along with a special cargo warehouse. Uh, I just realized that the mixed goods spawn in outside of your cargo warehouse, which in this case is good for us because it's like just over a mile away from the terminal. All right, and here we go. Oh, geez, that was a little embarrassing. Uh, here we go, fit through the gap. Oh yeah, that took just under three three minutes to do that. Very simple. All right, and there we go. Another $50,000. Now, honestly, I don't know what I want to do. <laughs> kind of running out of things that I can come up with to do. Um, you know what? I think I'm going to go ahead and do a security contract next. And probably a lot of you are thinking like, hey, you can just call up Franklin to start up a security contract. Yes, but I like to go actually to my agency to start it up just because I can at least pick the best one. Because when you just call up Franklin, you get stuck with whatever one you get. And you don't know if you're making like $32,000 or $70,000. At least with here, you have an understanding of like how much money you're gonna get. And obviously you're gonna pick the best one too. All right, so we're gonna go to security contracts. We have professional, specialist, and professional. All right, we're gonna do the specialist one, which we have to recover some valuables. Okay. We get the recover valuables for the location at Tequila La. We get this one a decent amount. So I understand how to do this one as fast as possible. So first things first, we've made it to Tequila La and we need to go through the back entrance, which is going to be up here. Then we need to locate the safe. Um, is it in here? Uh, no, doesn't look like it, which is fantastic. So that means it's going to be in the basement, which is not great. But now I've pissed off the lost MC. So now a bunch of people are going to shoot at me. Dude, there's so many people here. My goodness. I almost died there. All right, but the safe should be down here in the basement. There's going to be even more people that spawn in down here. And yeah, the safe is literally right next to the door right there. So we have to go try to find the combination for the safe which can be hard to find, but luckily I already found it, which is right here. So we pick up the combination for the safe, and then we're gonna go down here, and of course there's more people that spawn in down here. All right, and then we're gonna open up the safe, and then we're gonna recover the valuable, which is gonna be a necklace, and then we're gonna exit Tequila La, and then we're gonna take it back to the agency, and we should be good to go. All right, so we're back inside. We're gonna hand Franklin the nice necklace, and there you go. Security contract.
contract has been completed. So now I think we should be able to do our final payphone hit. All right, so we called up for another payphone hit. Uh, hang up. All right, cool. We have to assassinate. No, Franklin, no, stop. All right, you know what? No, we're not doing that. Instead, what we're going to do is we're going to go back to our bunker because I just got a notification that we can sell off some more excess weapon parts and selling off excess weapon parts will give me $5,000 more than a payphone hit now. So I'm going to do this and then if we have enough time, we'll do one more payphone hit. But I have seven minutes and 30 seconds and I assume I'm going to have to take this stupid dune loader all the way back to the freaking terrible location and you're supposed to load in game. I get it. This is my bunker. Thank you. I know it's my bunker. Now spawn in. Hello, game. Come on. There you go. You took a little too long there, cowboy. We're going to go over here. We're going to get in this dune loader and we're going to haul ass down the road. Probably going to be the six mile one, which sucks. And then hopefully I'll have enough time to do one more payphone hit. Now, where's the location? Okay, never mind. I Why? Okay, for some weird, weird reason, I kept getting that six mile location. Now I'm getting the four mile location, which is good for us right now, but I'm so confused why I kept getting that stupid, stupid location. I think either three or four times in a row off of multiple different accounts. And by the way, since we're cutting it close on time, if we're in the middle of doing a payphone hit and the clock hits zero, I have to set down my control and go to an invite only session and we won't get credit for completing that payphone hit. For this challenge, it is a hard cutoff. So just keep that in mind when the time is about to expire. Oh yeah, I just realized uh, there has literally been no NPCs coming after me this time. So that's nice, but I don't know why you had to come after me the first time. All right, and there we go. We have made it over to this ammunition, a different ammunition. And there we go. Uh, so what I need to do now is I need to quickly call up Franklin and then hopefully we can do a payphone. And luckily I'm right next to a payphone, which is nice. All right, I just wanted to bring my oppressor over closer. Um, let's pick up the payphone, hang up. What are we getting? Multiple targets. Oh, jeez. Uh, I don't know if we're gonna be able to complete this, but I'm gonna try my hardest. Take out all the targets with a headshot. Oh, this is gonna be incredibly close. Yeah, we'll have to say the locations for this specific one are not the best. We got the locations kind of going into Blaine County, which is not great. If we got the locations, I think in the city it would have been a little easier. What are you going? All right, how much time do I have left? I have a minute 30 left. I've only killed one. All right, we made it over here. Um, Of course, this ledge. Oh, okay. No, I can. Of course. Okay, that stupid ledge. Uh, how much time do I have left? Uh, 40 some seconds left. That's not good. You know what? Yeah, no, we're just going to stop it here. I'm stopping the timer. There's no way we're going to complete this. So I'm going to head over to an invite only session and we'll regroup. All right, so after an hour and 30 minutes of trying to do whatever I want to make money, we made $673,000, which honestly, I feel like I could have done a little bit better. I feel like I left a little bit on the table, especially that last payphone hit. But all in all, we still made a lot of money in that time frame. All right, all right. I actually took a look at this discount voucher. Uh, we have like less than 23 minutes left for this voucher. This is gonna be the best time I can use a discount voucher. So I'm gonna take advantage of it now. I already have well over the amount to buy the actual Cavalcade XL. Wait, how do I use a discount voucher? I don't even know, dude. Discount voucher. Do I have to like click on it? No, okay. The discount doesn't even show on the website. So I'm a little bit concerned. It's just not going to go through for some weird reason, but I'm going to buy it. Yeah, there you go. This purchase will use your 10% discount. Of course, I would like to proceed with that. Thank you very much. So all I had to spend was $1,498,000 instead of the $1,665,000. So nice. We saved like 100000 But yeah, we still need to sell off our counterfeit cash factory. And then once we sell that off, we'll go back and we'll customize the Cavalcade XL. So yeah, let's head over to a public session now. All right, so I've made it over to a public session. And as you can see in the bottom right, our counterfeit cash is maxed out at a value of $217,000. So it's ready to go to be sold off. So let's head over here. Let's click to sell stock. We haven't sold this thing off before. All right, so we're going to sell this off to Los Santos and it's going to have a value of $325,000 since it's further away than Blaine County. Plus we'll get a 50% bonus on whatever we do sell since we're in a maxed out public session. Uh, larger sales may require multiple vehicles um just don't give me a stupid cell mission please uh okay we get planes we get planes i think this one's doable the only problem is our planes are just sitting here on the alamo sea but i don't think there's a lot of people around the alamo sea so yeah essentially we have to take a 
plane and we have to go to five different locations with each plane and there's a total of three different planes here so in total we have to go to 15 different locations all right so yeah here's our planes right here uh, let me make sure there's like no one yeah there's one person right here that's just chilling out in the alamo sea area there's one guy on the train tracks up near mount chiliad all right here we go there's a deliver the counterfeit cash to the drop-offs the locations are holy far away that is annoying oh good we have to fly as low as possible to avoid detection by cops great so yeah we can't go a little too high like this yeah because then ljt is yelling at me don't fly too high lower the altitude or the cops will be all over you like what are cops gonna do to me i mean i'll fly low but like what are cops gonna do to me like really all right here we go here's the first drop off location yeah that took us almost five minutes to get to this location all right here we go just drop the counterfeit cash let's move on to the next one yeah these locations are pretty far away from each other too which is a little bit annoying like there's some over here which this is the east side of los santos then there's some over in the chumash area which is all the way on the west side of los santos which is fantastic right, there we go another drop off location yeah i'm probably not gonna talk too much during this just because it's not really much happening so yeah i'll see you when we get to each drop off location or if something crazy happens which hopefully nothing crazy happens all right there we go that was our third location all right here's our fourth location location so let's drop the cash and then just over here is going to be our fifth and final location that we need to go to with this plane so let's drop the cash there uh so yeah now we need to go back and enter another plane i'm gonna jump out of this plane this plane is so slow it's not even funny so we're jumping out the plane we're gonna pull our parachute and then we're gonna call in my oppressor mark two and it spawned on the other side of the built game that it oh Dude, I'm right next to a road. Oh my, I have to lose the cops now. Yeah, this is an incredibly boring cell mission. But the thing is, it is possible to do it within the 30 minutes. So I'm gonna keep going. All right, here we go. We've made it back to the locations where the planes are. Let's get another plane. We have just under 19 minutes to go. Uh, I think we still should be able to complete this, but we're gonna be cutting it close. All right, here we go. We've made it over to the first location with this plane. There you go. All right, here we go. Second location. Take the cash. Three more to go. All right, here we go. Third location. Ah, uh, we just flew over a bounty. Uh, okay. Wow, that kind of scared me a little bit. Uh, back to this boring cell mission. There you go. Fourth location. We have one more to go. All right, and there you go. Same ordeal. I'm gonna jump out the plane. I'm gonna call in my oppressor, and then we're gonna fly back and then do that one more time. All right, we made it back to our final plane. We have just over 10 minutes to go. So yeah, we should be able to sell this thing off. All right, here we go. First location with our last plane. Yep, take your cash. Three more locations to go. All right, here we go. Third location right here. Two more to go. All right, here's the fourth location. We have one more location to get. Get to. All right, here we go. Final location, and there we go. We successfully delivered the counterfeit money, and we made four hundred and eighty-eight thousand dollars off of that cell mission. Oh, geez, I guess we're going down. Okay, yeah, it's fine with me. How in the world does this thing not blow up? Oh, there it is. Okay. All right, so we've already bought our cavalcade XL, but we're sitting on one million fifty-eight thousand dollars still just to customize this thing. So let's go check out our new cavalcade XL, and let's go customize it. All right, so here is our cavalcade XL right here the newest vehicle that was added into gta online so yeah let's head over to a los santos customs and let's go customize this thing all right so i've made it over to los santos customs i want to put as much customization as possible on this thing and i'll see you when we have this thing fully customized all right so here's my gavelcade xl after customizing it you know i never done a vehicle before that was painted gold and i was like you know what this is going to be the vehicle that we're going to have painted gold but one weird thing about this vehicle if you can see the wheels the wheels are slightly like cocked out i don't know why they're like that but yeah this is my new cavalcade yeah but there we go we just purchased the cavalcade xl the latest dlc vehicle in gta online and in next episode we are going to spin the wheel of businesses to see what business we are gonna have to purchase next make sure you check out this video right here if you want to see me join a bad sport lobby in 2024